guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing another drawing art tutorial video i'm going to be showing you guys a drawing style technique method that i used to use a lot when i started drawing and oh my gosh my cat is coming into my room why are you interrupting my video why do you have anything to say to the audience no Yes. So pretty much with this method, instead of the usual kind of drawing out the lines for the sketch and then going in with color on top, with this method, you're going in with the color and blocking them in with shapes and then going in and refining the details. I use my iPad Pro 10.5 inch, it's kind of expensive. So if you're on a budget and you want a drawing tablet, I recommend the Wacom um, Intuos Art. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. I'll have it linked down below, but this is like $70 and it comes with a free art program to draw with. Yeah, this one, you have to connect it to a computer though for it to work. And you can also draw on your phone. There are a bunch of drawn apps that you can use on your phone and if you don't want to use your finger on your phone to draw there are styluses out there that you can buy on Amazon that you can connect via Bluetooth to your phone and draw with that if you want to know all the brushes I have on my procreate app then I'll have that video linked I don't know if I mentioned it but the program that I'm using on my app is procreate yeah I'm rambling a lot I apologize let's just get right into this tutorial Okay, so for this tutorial, I first lined up my reference photo right next to the canvas that I'm going to be using. So what I do is I take the base color of the face, neck, and body, and I really just plop down shapes that use in my eyes. Like I'm just looking at the reference image and seeing the shapes and plopping down um, what I think the head, neck, body looks like. And I even add a little bit of shadow to help me lay it out. And then when I feel comfortable with the base that I have, I then go in and take a color red on a new layer. And I just draw lines at the important parts that I want to base my features off of. So I line up the lines with the sides of her face, her chin, and the top of her forehead just so that I can use those reference lines to really clean up the base shapes that I have for her head, neck, and body. And then I go in with a bit more details in the shadows, highlights, and I add in her hair, but I leave the face blank because I focus on the face after when I have those laid down. To blend, you really just take the in, so like in between so say if you have a light color and a dark color and you're trying to blend them, you take the middle color in between those two and you just like brush that between the two colors so that they blend and merge together seamlessly, beautifully, and still withhold the texture that has and looks really good. And then when I'm ready to start working on her face, I add my reference lines for that. I recommend using the same red color, but I use black lines in this demo video. So what I do with those lines, I roughly plop down her features and then as you can see I made some mistakes so I went in with my lasso tool after just to move the features where they're supposed to be and then I just fixed up the gaps. What I do is I line up the lines at the bottom of her lip, the bottom of her nose, the bottom of her lowest eye which was her left lot left lie her left eye and then the bottom of her lowest eyebrow which was her left eyebrow since her head is tilted this way as you can see when I tilt my head this eyebrow is lower down than this one because it's further away from where you see it so yeah there's always there's obviously going to be an angle and take that into mind when you're drawing the nose also this nostril is going to be more squished than this one because it's further away same with the lip this side's going to be um more smushed together than this side because yeah um so then so what i do with those lines is i really roughly um plop down where I roughly plopped down her features and then as you can see I made some mistakes so I went in with my lasso tool after just to move the features where they're supposed to be and then I just fixed up the gaps and go in and add some more highlights shadows more details in the hair and in the skin and that's pretty much it for this method um, it's really just you uh, 
focusing more on the shapes and stuff, the initial sketch, because sometimes the initial sketch, it can, um, we tend to rely on that a lot in drawings. So like, yeah, you'll have your base sketch, you'll color over it, but it's if you remove that sketch, I feel as though like the image doesn't really look as strong as it does with the sketch. So this, it just really helps you to not rely on lines in a drawing, but to really um, add texture and add details um, properly. Details in the portrait and um, da -da 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 when doing this drawing, I did it all on one layer. Um, so if I made a mistake, then I had to just go in with um, the different shades of grays and try to fix it up. Um, but if you are beginning and you don't feel that confident to do it all on one layer, then you can do like the base, um, the base shapes on one layer, do the shadows on another layer, highlights on another layer, details on another layer so that if you make a mistake on one spot then it will be easier for you to fix it but yeah that is all for this method of digital painting i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys